hi welcome back so we'll solve this problem okay from integration uh, that is from chapter 7 on integrals so here the question has come in the year 2017 and also in the year 2020 twice it has got repeated so let us see how to solve this problem now and this question has come for three marks okay from part c the question is from part c because from part C, you will be getting three marks questions. And see, uh, the question is to evaluate x minus 3 by x minus 1 whole cube e raised to x dx. Okay. So first, uh, we'll take this let i equals. Okay. We'll take down the same question. We'll repeat the same question here. What is given? So let i equals x minus 3 by x minus 1 whole cube e raised to x dx okay next so next step will be see uh, we will try to change this numerator in the form of denominator so we will write we'll try to write this x minus 3 in the form of x minus 1 so that is we can write x minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 will be equal to minus 3 itself so here the same thing x minus 1 whole cube x minus 1 minus 2 e raised to x dx okay so i'll tell you why we have written this next we'll split the numerator now whenever we split the numerator with the help of the elementary rule which is given by the integration See, one thing to remember is when we split the numerator, the denominator will not be uh, splitted. Only the case, only the numerator will get split. So we can write this as x minus 1 by x minus 1 whole cube and minus 2 by x minus 1 whole cube. The denominator remains same for both the terms. So I have written this separately x minus 1 and minus 2 I have written it separately and I will write this in the bracket because e raised to x is common for both the terms right. So I have written the bracket here and closed within the bracket. See what happens here in this step One x minus 1 term will get cancelled okay so we will be left out with 1 by x minus 1 whole square because here it was cube 1 term will get cancelled from the numerator and then 2 by x minus 1 cube will be there here okay once again enclosed within bracket okay now see whenever you get this e raised to x term uh, try to try to write or try to get the term such that one function should be f of x and the other should be f dash of x okay the other should be the differentiation of the function so the next step here will be now see we have the formula i if i equals integration of e raised to x f of x plus f dash of x dx then this will be equal to okay e raised to x f of x plus c now see that here e raised to x is present one should be f of x other should be the differentiation of it that is f dash of x let us see uh, that which one is f of x and which one is f dash of x here okay now see here we have where f of x is equal to 1 by x minus 1 whole square when you differentiate this you will get minus 2 by x minus 1 whole cube okay when you differentiate this term you will get minus 2 by x minus 1 whole cube okay how did we get this see here take to the uh, take this to the numerator you will get x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 so minus 2 into x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 minus 1 and it will be minus 3 so again taking down to the denominator will get cube here once you try you will get this answer so now with the help of this formula i can write is equal to e raised to x okay what is f of x here it is 1 by x minus 1 
whole square it is 1 by x minus 1 whole square okay so I can write it as 1 by x minus 1 whole square plus c okay where c is the constant of integration I hope you got this thank you thanks for watching